Welcome back to my secret river, a rich gold-filled stream hidden deep within Tasmania's west coast rainforest. On my last trip in here I found a nice pile of gold as I worked a deposit sitting right below my camp. Then as I went exploring for the source of the phantom gold I had no choice but to turn around as I came across some very large waterfalls. What I didn't share with you though was something that caught my eye leading up the hill on the way out. I spotted a little bit of this pink tape and then that one. This trip, I return to follow the pink tape, which finally allows me to test above the falls and I take home a chunky bounty for my efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the beautiful rainforest of the West Coast. I'm back here down at one of my favorite rivers and I've got another night, so two days to do some more prospecting. The last time I was in here, I worked down there and got pretty good gold. And then further downstream, I found that massive gravel deposit that was on the side of a log. And it got too dark for me to finish it. So I'm going to gear up. We're going to head straight back down there and see what I left behind. Okay, so here it is. Last time I was in here, I removed a lot of those gravels and under that log and there was gold all in there. Now I'm imagining there must be gold all along the back and probably in that gravel pile there as well. So what I'll do today is I'll just continue mining it from the back. You can see there where I stopped last time. There's bedrock on either side of it and I'll just continue shuffling those gravels through. Uh, land them on my little landing pad here which is all bedrock and then just snuff the gold and push the waste over the back of the waterfall. So I was working that pile and I wasn't really getting many heavies and it was super cloudy. So I've come back here a little bit and because it's like winter, the water level's risen. And I'm pretty sure that there's another shelf or crevice that runs below all of these gravels. So I started moving a heap out of this boil hole and I found a nice little picker. The saying goes, when you find gold, there's likely to be more of it. And it couldn't be more true for this spot, as I was just about to discover. There's going to be a lot more gold in this hole, and then I can guarantee that whole shelf is going to be littered, because this waterfall is where I've got heaps of gold on this river. And this here just really shows how rich this spot is. When there's multiple visible gold pieces that have been trapped in tiny little cracks, so much gold must have passed over this bedrock for this to have happened. For every piece that gets stuck, there would have been 10,000 or more which passed right over it.
There's going to be so much more in this hole. Just got to get rid of all the big stuff and the, a lot of the sediments. Try not to get rid of any pickers. So much gold. So I've got three nice little sun bakers here to pick up and then this boil hole's done and I'm gonna make my way all the way along this ledge. All right, I'm gonna make my way along the ledge now. I've got like about three meters at least, and this will be a shelf, and I'm pretty sure it'll be a crevice. Nice little tight corner crevice, so could be loaded with gold. We'll soon find out. As soon as I hit that bedrock, the magic began. It's such an exciting feeling knowing that you're on the gold and what might be hiding below the heavy stones where you're finding it. It's a rush like no other. Sure, the gold is awesome to get, but it's a surprise which is the best. We're just making my way down this little boil hole thing and I found my first little nugget. Pro tip, when you snuff up nuggets, make sure they stay in the bottle. Tilting the bottle vertically and tapping it will lock in any gold caught in the middle of the snuffer. How's this for a crazy cluster of gold? And as predicted, the shelf crevice continued to hold good gold all the way up to the falls.
Oh, that's a chunker sucking that crack. Go in there and pick it out. So I think I'm done here. I've worked my way all the way up here. I've got a heap of gold out of it, but it's uh, kind of stopped. There's a tiny bit of a crevice left, but there's nothing in it. And it's all different types of rock. So I think it's time to find somewhere new to work. So I've come back over to the original spot where I'd intended to work the salvo and uh, getting the odd piece here and there but I haven't got long left in the day and then I'll have to head back to camp because it's almost dark. It's been bloody dark here all day, like no sun's coming here, it's just all in the shadows and very cold. But anyway, we'll get a fire going at camp and assess how much gold we've got. It must have a little bit, look how it's floating, it's staying upright bottom heavy. I think I've done pretty good. It's been a good day. So I had a pretty good go at it. I worked like another meter of the gravel, bugger all gold in it. It must have just been this hot spot here because gold had come here and there was a dead zone. So that was full of pickers and stuff. Anyway, I worked all that. I've got a heap of gold. I'm gonna head back up to camp. Try to get these lips unnum so I can speak again. Easy tan. Yeah, easy 10 grams. 
Awesome. I'll have a uh, another look around the fire. I just got to go and warm up and have some food. So I was just cleaning the gold up, I like to just kind of grab a little bit from here, run it through the water and try to leave the black sands to collect in the pan. But I found this alien piece of gold, very interesting to find this in this river because as you can see it's got quartz attached to it still and this gold is from a completely different deposit whereas these pieces here have the magnetite or geothite coating on them this one here is different, crystalline, but I would dare say that's part of the reef it came out of. Certainly looks like it. It's not like the type of piece you would get uh, caught in that bit of gold unless it came from it. And you can even tell just looking at it that that gold is a different color gold. It looks more silvery, whereas the other stuff's a bit more gold. Anyways, I'll get back to uh, working. Oh, there's no better feeling than a really nice warm fire on like a probably three degree night. Oh and an epic haul of gold from today's efforts. So we've got a couple of chunky bits there, nothing unusual, a few other little pickers, but yeah, just the usual suspects here. Oh, I remember I got a candy cane looking piece today. Um, where was that? Uh, that bit there is pretty. Pretty rowdy. That's that's phantom gold that is, but look at that scratch mark on the back. How bizarre. Um Yeah the candy cane, oh there it is. That's it. Wicked little piece of gold. I tried to film as much as I could today, but because the water is so cold, my hands are really numb and it's hard every time I get the phone because it's quite a complicated process of getting the camera function up and then you have to turn the flash on and then you have to turn macro on and then you put it in the water and it bloody switches off on you. So you have to do it all again. And But anyway, that's today's haul. No complaints. It's too bloody cold. It's time to jump in the sack. So I've got another almost a whole day tomorrow. I can prospect until about three o'clock. So um, yeah, rather than just go and fluff about on the river as I normally do, I'm thinking I might go back up to that creek that had the waterfalls because last time I was in there, I actually found some pink bits of tape. 
and there was only three bits and I kind of followed him for a little bit but I was already on my way out and uh, they seemed to head up the hill so I think that if I follow them or even if they peter out I can go up the hill and avoid those two massive waterfalls because after those waterfalls the creek gets quite flat so there could be good bedrock up there and I know there's gold up there as well so um, I might go up there for a little sniff tomorrow morning and then uh, if I don't get anything I'll just get some stuff out of the river but I really do want to go and see what's up there good morning damn it was cold last night I reckon it got down to about zero degrees so I'm gonna have some brekkie now and then gear up and get ready for that big walk up behind the waterfall and do some testing I hope there's some ground up there to snipe because I've got a really good feeling that there's a lot of gold up there time will tell all right so I've pretty well got camp all broken so I'll be leaving here this afternoon. Fresh set of gloves. Let's go tackle this creek. Here we go, round two. Lots of boulders, heaps of waterfalls, heaps of fun. I think we're almost at the pink tape now. So I've made it back to the pink tape that I found last time. It's like a fabric, maybe. Anyway, it's very old. There's another two down there. One of those is the ones that I originally saw. But from here, I don't really know where they lead because there's nothing that I can see up the hill. So I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and just slog it up and try to find more. I guess there's nothing else to do but just climb up. Hope that it's not too thick and uh, avoid these waterfalls. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any help up here with tape. It's hard work. Weddy's got to... Weddy's got to come off so I can breathe. Bloody thick in here, but I've just found a lifeline. Another bit of pink tape. They're just so sporadic though. Anyway, 
better than nothing. There might be more up here. Wow. Just like that, I was coming up here, super thick scrub, thinking, oh, I've bloody lost it. And then I noticed right next to me, that cut log, and a few more bits of pink tape down that way. This is so overgrown. I was seriously, I was about to give up. But this is the second time I've tried to conquer this part of the creek. This is what I need though, I need the, I need the track, I need to know that someone else has been in here before that it's possible. And that's what all this pink tape tells me. Someone from the 80s or something. Sunlight. And the only clue I've had for the last five minutes. I'm just kind of winging it the way that you would walk if you were to walk around the falls. The smart way. And uh, yeah, getting the odd bit of pink tape, but most of them have kind of fallen off. The trees that they were put on have long gone. So you find them like on the ground or in other random spots, landslides and stuff. So, just keeping my eyes peeled. You never know where you're gonna spot one. And one could turn into four or five, or it could just be the one, but you gotta take them. Just found a new variety of mushrooms that I haven't seen before. A kind of purple stem with a brownish top. Pretty cool. Believe it or not, this is the track. Unless, no, that looks like chainsaw. <clears throat> Look, it's everywhere. What the hell, why? Why were they cutting all these stumps? Oh, shoot. Look, there's more here. Why would they cut all these for the track? <clears throat> they just left them. Oh, it's so weird. So much effort for nothing. It's pretty cool to be in a new area that has had a lot of human activity. Because you just never know what's going to pop up. Oh, there's a nice bit of pink tape. Why? Look, cut over there, cut. The track must go down that way as well. I might follow it out that way rather than the same way I came. I need to have a breather. Oh, one sip basically. Anyway, it's worth it. It's worth it to be up here and see all of this chainsawing and potential network of tracks yeah i think i see a bit of pink tape running down that way so i'm definitely going to follow that on the way back 
because screw going back the way that I came, that is hectic, that creek, all that vegetation. I just wonder if this will lead me up that way. Didn't need to have to, wouldn't it? Ah. Right. I know where we are. Yeah. It's an old track. I know who cut it. I've read the company report. This is bloody incredible. Just a perfect little open gully to guide me, hopefully, all the way down to the creek. Oh, sometimes all you need is just a little bit of luck and perseverance. We've almost done it. Oh. Yep, I can hear it. It doesn't sound like much of a creek, but hey, you never know if you never go. Let's see what we're dealing with. Done it. It's bedrock. What the hell? Look at this bedrock here. Perfect ripples. Oh, come on, let there be gold. Now I would expect if there was any gold in this creek, it would show up in this jagged bedrock, at least in specks. But no gold was to be seen. This is like the perfect little creek to snipe if there was just an abundance of gold. So I travelled hundreds of metres up this creek and tested all the way along. And unfortunately, it was a bloody fizzer. Ah, what a bloody waste of time it was. Getting to that river. But I can let it go now. There's not... 20 metre long, perfect, flat, with a foot of water running over loaded crevices full of gold. And I know that now. And uh, now I can get on with my life. Ah, oh, what a relief to be back on the river. That was such a slog. And I've got bugger all time really to work. I can either go downstream and in two hours I can probably get one, two, maybe three grams. Or I can head upstream past the camp and maybe find a nugget. But maybe come home empty handed. I got a heap yesterday. Let's go try and find a nugget. There's a little bit of gold there.
Ask for them to take a pay. There could be monster hiding under that little ledge there. I'll keep digging it out. I got like a few little pickers out of it. Well, the day's getting away from me now. I've got to head back down to camp, have lunch, pack up, and head out of here. <sighs> Which sucks, but I am looking forward to going home because this water has been absolutely freezing. That'd be it. Decent. Decent for an hour and a bit's work. Some nice little pickers. That bit there is pretty cool. That's very crystalline. Probably the same source as that bit that I had last night with the quartz in it. That'll cover fuel anyway. So we'll take a close look at day one's hole. This nice little piece of phantom gold has been shaved in the past. Point one six. The alien specimen piece. Still got the quartz attached to it. Point zero eight. Cool little boomerang picker. Point two five. The second largest piece of the trip. Point four eight. And my little nugget. Point six six. 
day one's total 10.14 grams day two's collection cool little triangle picker 0.35 a coarse piece unusual for this river 0.14 another average picker 0.22 another average picker 0.17 uh, this picker has a little bit of a rat's tail 0.19 and day two's total 2.32 grams and total for the trip 12.45 grams <laughs>